we just can't get enough mayhem. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another Top 10 Creative Horror Movie Weapons. For this list, we focused on even more eye-catching, memorable, and imaginative weapons that have been used by big-screen horror villains to dispatch their victims. We need guns. If you didn't see a weapon you thought should be on the list, be sure to check out our first video of the Top 10 Creative Horror Movie Weapons. And now, prepare to slice and dice. <laughs> Number 10. Sentinels, the Phantasm Franchise this cult classic horror series had its humble beginnings in 1979 as a locally financed indie film about a mysterious mortician, the Tall Man, who may or may not be doing some fiendish things with the dying residents of a small town. The funeral is about to begin, sir. As a couple of youngsters decide to investigate, they make enemies of the Tall Man, and he's a lot more vicious than they thought. <laughs> Weapon of choice? a mysterious flying orb that seems to have a mind of its own. <laughs> Although harmless looking at first, beware these spheres add-on accessories. <laughs> Number 9. An Espresso Machine, Leprechaun 2 <laughs> The sadistic leprechaun is back in business, and this time he's looking for a new bride in the twisted sequel to the cult horror comedy. Tonight, I can claim me bride. After he somehow finds himself in a bar and is tricked into getting drunk, he stumbles into a coffee shop to sober up. <laughs> Trying to regain his magic and his sobriety, he gets made fun of by the annoying barista, played by Mad TV alum Michael McDonald. What's your next gig, huh? One of Santa's elves or one of the seven dwarfs? After one too many short jokes, the leprechaun proceeds to use a coffee machine in ways we never thought possible. Don't touch! It's hot! <laughs> Number 8. Chairlift of Doom, Gremlins <laughs> This classic 80s creature feature was a darkly comedic allegory for taking good care of your pets, and gives us probably the funniest death on our list. I warned you, Brad. By the time we meet crabby old Mrs. Deagle and her house full of cats, the furry mogwai have transformed into mischievous gremlins, wreaking havoc on the little town. Her hatred of Christmas carols is almost reason enough to applaud after some simple rewiring causes her chairlift to catapult her through the air and plummet to her death. <laughs> Don't deny it, you cracked a smile. Number 7. Throwing Disc, Predator 2 Well, we've prepared a little track for this predator. Still hunting for sport, one of sci-fi's greatest villains is back in this action thriller sequel to the Schwarzenegger classic. Bodies strung out, bodies with the skins ripped off, the hearts torn from the cadavers. The alien hunter has left the camouflage of the jungle and has now found himself in Los Angeles, making enemies of Danny Glover and Gary Busey and interrupting an all-out gang war. Who got hit this time? Five gang members. While the Predator is known for his nasty kills and awesome weaponry, none sticks out more than his flying disc. This alien boomerang will find its target when it's geared up, and will literally cut him down to size. Pun intended. Number 6. Nails on a Chalkboard, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare Next, we have another famous killer that is so creative with his methods, we had trouble deciding what to pick. <laughs> While Freddy is always tongue-in-cheek, in a psychotically mischievous kind of way, this kill from the sixth film in the series stands out hilariously as grisly and effective. No, please! No, no! no. <laughs> The group of troubled teens that become Freddy's latest targets shouldn't be falling asleep, but poor Carlos didn't see, or rather hear, this one coming. No, no, no. No! 
Kruger's cartoonish setup of the growing chalkboard couldn't prepare us for the gruesome outcome. Everyone's classroom nightmare. Number 5. Death by Umbrella, Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 2. What are you looking at, kid? It seems like all that therapy and help couldn't keep young Ricky Caldwell from following in his brother's murderous footsteps. This cheesy 80s slasher flick delivers exactly what we expect and demand from a movie like this. A few awesome kills. Ricky is triggered by his brother's deeds from the first movie and gives the film's first victim a painful send-off by effortlessly turning anything around him into a weapon. Although Death by Umbrella has been seen in other films like Batman Returns and Scream, it has never been this comedic and shocking. <laughs> Number 4. Sleeping Bags, Jason X In the year 2455, Jason still lives and is going on a futuristic killing spree aboard a spaceship. I take it being stabbed and frozen wasn't part of your plan. After being captured, breaking free, being frozen, revived, blown up, and revived again, we are introduced to the semi-robotic Uber Jason. You guys might want to run. As the remaining crew of the Grendel try to survive, they attempt to trick Jason with a hilariously stereotypical hologram of 20th Century Crystal Lake. After 10 Jason movies, we've seen the masked killer use his surroundings as creative weapons on more than one occasion, and learned that Jason loves his camping equipment. So naturally, he won't let a hologram spoil his fun. Number 3. Dollmaker, Child's Play 2 Although Chucky is also creative with his surroundings, his small stature and doll's body offer some limitations. Close your eyes and count to seven. When you wake, you'll be in heaven. Therefore, his creative use of toys and kids' things, like jump ropes or rulers, is extra chilling to watch. In this early 90s sequel, the possessed good guy doll continues his relentless pursuit to take over Andy's body. Give me the power, I beg of you! The film's climax in the toy factory brings everything full circle and was bound to have a few casualties. <laughs> Kinda like the poor sucker that ends up on the conveyor belt. He clearly never saw it coming. Number 2. Takes Guts, Hatchet 2. I didn't do nothing! Insane, deranged, deformed. Victor Crowley sure loves his hatchet the most and always finds creative ways to use it. After Jack saves Mary Beth, the original film's protagonist, he immediately regrets it when Crowley shows up. Get out! sparking another series of gruesome, over-the-top, violent confrontations that can only come from the mind of Adam Green. I didn't even know who that girl was! As Jack sends Mary Beth on her way to find Reverend Zombie, he is attacked, disemboweled, and choked to death with his own intestines by Crowley. <laughs> The first of many creative kills, it sure sets the tone for the ensuing brutality. Before we reveal our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Don't sleep on it, 
Freddy vs. Jason. Jason Voorhees once again makes an appearance, and this time, he tops our list. This movie gave us the slasher confrontation we were waiting for, as Freddy, being stuck in hell, tricks Jason into starting an Elm Street killing spree, because only fear will bring Freddy back to life. Jason's first victim gets handled the old-fashioned machete way, but gets extra points for the finishing touch. Those folding beds always seemed dangerous, didn't they? And what follows is an epic body count and epic showdown for the ages. Do you agree with our list? You did. What other weapons shocked and surprised you? For more chilling top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Okay, screw this game over.